Hello, welcome back to our House of Ashes playthrough. In our last video, all of our characters were narrowly escaping death once again. However, Clarice seems to be turning into some sort of vampire. So I think we're going to have to leave her behind somewhere in this episode before she attacks one of our characters. And we'll see what happens Hopefully we can keep everyone alive in today's episode, but you never know. This game's kind of crazy that way. I don't think we left our characters in a very good situation, but that's kind of par for the course as of lately. This could be bad. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. Shut up! Was it him? Don't do this, Rachel. Did he kill Eric? Bad move. I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. At least this time it won't be in the back. Come on, be all away! Nick, deal with this shit. I don't know what to tell you. We could really use their help. They're the enemy, Nicky. I don't trust any one of you. That's all I need to hear. It's them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Yeah, they, either they work together or they all die here. Forget what you did to the colonel. I had no choice. Malhadi. Ayena, Mateka Mosara. The Ayenoam and Ayadi. Come on, Greece. What's wrong with her? Yeah, I don't think we can save her. It's a lost cause. The medication's back at the temple. We're carrying dead weight. We can't give up hope. Look at her. Do you see hope? Do you see hope? It's got to be this way. We have to leave. Bullshit. I'm not carrying that on my conscience. You're going to carry a whole lot more if she turns. Think. Please. 
I'm sorry. You can't. I'm one of you. No. You're not one of us. Not anymore. Yeah, I think if we bring her with us, she's going to kill one of our party, so I think it's better that we leave her. Uh, it keeps getting better, too. and some are more bat-like. Alright, so we learned that crosses don't work. Maybe that symbol we've been seeing around the village works, but the cross does not. didn't get injured there. But to be fair, we did drop her off a cliff earlier, so maybe they decided she's had enough. And this guy is 100% dead.
hoping we didn't lose too many characters there. We'll see as this goes on. You to mess with a marine. Okay, not sure how he survived or how he killed that, but at least he's alive. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. Looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. A sword and a shield. They're too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. Alright, so we need to try and find the others who... I think for one second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. The following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? Yeah, so we're trying to regroup with the others who we don't even really know if they're alive or not. That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. Got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. I mean, with how many they've killed and how many are still coming, I don't know if they're going to be able to defeat them. They'd better focus on escaping, if anything. Thanks. What's the 
first thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. How is there still lights on down here? Are we still close to the temple room? It's gotta be wired to that generator, but I thought that generator went out. Maybe I'm wrong, but lights being on here doesn't seem to make sense. 9 p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on, so I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us. We had no choice. Yeah, I feel like a gun made him sign up with Saddam. At least that's how this story made it look. is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. Should we get the fuck out of here?
Alright, we just seem to be going further in, which hasn't worked out for anyone so far. Honestly, if they had stayed where they first fell and tried to just get a rope to climb out, they probably would have been in better shape than where they are now. That's sunlight coming in. Or is that more lights that are turned on? Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your bag, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? So they were, it seems like they were studying the vampires once they found them. It's caverns. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. What happens if they jump down here and it's a dead end? Is that your wife? Didn't seem easy to get back up if you can't go anywhere further from down here. It's funny how you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? Works for me. I'm this bad guy to deal with. The time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. So I hope you'll come back and find out next time what happens to Salim and Kocek and which of our other characters survived the assault in the episode. As always, thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.